Welcome to the tribe. These are beautiful videos. When somebody that commits something as extreme as murder and got away with it eventually gets caught, it's, it's a great thing. It does make me upset that people end up living their life for years and years and, and just never got the justice that they deserved, especially when it comes to people that have lived up into their 60s or 70s and say passed away. And then it's discovered after the fact that they had committed a murder because they never find justice. That stuff really bothers me. It does. In this video, thankfully, this man is still alive and the justice that he deserves does come to him. It starts in the form of a traffic stop, but apparently he killed somebody back in 1994 and this stop alluded them to the cold case, which then led to his arrest. I'm going to guess in this video, he has no expectations of this. After 20 plus years, you probably don't think there's any chance that you're going to get caught for something like this. You probably figure it's not even on my mind anymore. I'm just living my life now. That's a long time. So let's dive in. Let's see how this one plays out. What's your What's your last name? It's the Kim. It's the Kim. Okay. All right. I'm gonna have you go and step out the vehicle for me. She's gonna come and get. Me. Yeah. So you're about 57 minutes away from me. I was almost at the hospital. Okay. Take this off. Um. Just uh. I don't know the name of this place right we'll, we'll, we'll here. We'll I'm curious if the person on the phone is, say, his girlfriend or wife. And if he met her after the fact of the murder and she has no idea that he ever committed this, it's going to be a shock to her when this all goes down. Texas, That's Prince right. Avenue. It's all right, Prince so here, here's what's going to happen, Sakim, okay? Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, I'm going to have to place you in the custody today, okay? You're going to go down to jail. Oh, no. you got to get booked in. They're going to take your fingerprints and picture, and you'll get a bond. But because you're driving on a suspended license, you got to go down the jail. Sir, I did not know. I have children. I have a sick uncle, and I run the household. I got you. No, I really don't. don't have a choice at this put, time. Please so put Auntie. Under arrest. Go ahead and turn around. Put your hands on your back, please. Please put Auntie around, on the phone. Put your back. Who set the phone up on the car? They put me under arrest right now. They, I don't Okay, so he has no idea still. The cops don't even have any idea. This is just normal procedure for what he was doing, I, I assume. Unless they know and they want to get him down there to check his fingerprints and stuff. But So they must have some record of him doing this murder, but he's just never been in trouble by the police to have it on file. And once they get it on file, that match is going to come back. This is actually really, really interesting. Driving with suspended license. Suspended license. <laughs> I didn't know. And, 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 it's, and it's not even showing. Unfortunately, the law is different here in Georgia than it is in South Carolina. If you have a suspended license, you have to go down to the jail and get booked in. Oh, but, but, sir, can you speak to my aunt? She has. Yes. We're on speakerphone. She okay, can hear us right now. No, please speak to her. Please, please speak to her. I'm the only one that can help with my uncle that's sick in ICU right now. I got you. Sorry about that. But unfortunately, your son. Please, sir. You're driving a car without valid insurance. My son. Oh, we got, yeah, you got that yes. taken care of. Got You're already son. driving a car without valid insurance. I won't drive. My cousin, can't trust my, to drive to drive. No, I swear to you, I'll walk away from my car. So we're going to walk you back to this please. other car. Please, sir. Yes, sir. We're going to walk you to my daughter's car. Come on, sir. Come on. Please, this man is old. regretting He's being in Georgia. Old. I'll tell you that much. Sir, please. I, I will not. I swear you can please check me. Okay. Please check uh, everything on me. I'm going to search you and send you to arrest. Huh? See what's this emergency 911? Yeah. Praise for seconds. Okay. Sir. Separate your feet out. Okay, sir. Sir. Yeah. Nothing in your pockets, right? Sir, sir please. please. What all do you need out of your car? A, sir, I have a child at the house that they cannot take care of. I what have, all do you need out of your car? Sir, I feel like he knows that this is going to go poorly. I will not touch my car. You will take my keys out. What all do you need out of your car? Uh, I don't need, I need my family. That's it. I do see for me. Sir, I do 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 it's been 20 plus years, but in the back of his head, I think he knows because he probably followed the case a little bit, knew that there was fingerprints or otherwise, and he had just never been in trouble. So he probably tried his hardest to not be in any trouble that would cause him to get fingerprinted or any of that stuff ever done. And he, I just, because the way that he's fighting this, it seems like he's very, very scared and a little bit nervous, right? Because if you just knew that you're going to go down, get fingerprinted and stuff, and then be let go, I just don't think that you would be acting this way. This, this comes from, 
some internal fear that something may actually go down and happen. Don't have a choice. You? I wasn't going to get in you my car. You have a suspended car. license. You drive in the car without insurance. You've got that taken care of. I've been doing it every you day. you got suspended registration. So you have to go down to the jail and get booked in. Just take your photograph. They're going to take your fingerprints. They'll give you a bond amount. You can bond out, and then you can get on the way up to the hospital. But you can't drive. Sir, I... I so have a seat okay, for me, please. Okay, may I speak after you? Have a seat for me. Are you going to sit so down, and then I'll listen to you. Okay, so what do you, what do you want to tell me? On, on everything... My aunt just had a stroke. My uncle just had a stroke two and a half weeks ago. Yeah. I'm here helping my family. No I don't even know who can come and bomb me out. I don't even know who can come and bomb me out. I'm not a criminal. I'm not a crook. I'm, if you, I look I mean, how old you, I am. Did you get a ticket or something? I didn't get take care of? I, I mean, don't, why would they suspend your license in South Carolina? That's, I just found out speaking to the deputy. Yeah. I just found out that maybe when we had a car that I had to got repossessed, that yeah. I didn't take my name off of it. Okay. Um, I, mean, I wouldn't imagine that they'd suspend you for a repossession. But that's what I'm saying. I did. I don't. But but it's no no information is coming up. I won't drive. I will, I'll have my cousin. Can you slide your license in for us? You're not going to speak to me? No, unfortunately, I told you. I've already explained my position to you. Oh, this hurts. I don't have a choice. Sir, sir, I have... Uh, sir. Okay, so the way you're sitting right now is not a good position. You're a tall guy. you got long legs. Can you slide your knees over this way and sit at an angle? It's the last time my man's going to breathe fresh air. I'm going to come to the other side. Watch your knee. Uh, oh. So can you not put your headphones in your little black pouch? Ma'am, y'all really, y'all got to please make sure my aunt is okay. She's 80 years old. She's 80 years old. I see through the whole house. I shop. I do everything. I do everything. Do you need anything outside of your car? Um, just, just know that I, can you speak to my aunt? She, just, we have a speech. Uh-uh. Just, just speak to my aunt because I do everything for the house. I okay. Shop. I, I do everything. My son is there. He's only 13 years old. He does not, he does not know what's going on. This is, this is, I don't, can you let my cousin know wherever it is I'm going? Can you let him know where he's going? Yeah, so when you get there, you'll be able to call him. How, how can I call him? Okay, maybe he doesn't think that anything's going to happen because he's kind of leaning towards, you know, let my cousin know so they can bond me out. It, he may still not be thinking, and maybe he is just concerned that he's going in when he's in the middle of trying to help his family out. That is a possibility. I thought that he was thinking about, oh, man, if I get fingerprinted, something bad is going to come up. But he might, like I said, 20 plus years, You that might not even be a part of your, your thought process anymore. You might think you're so far from it that there's no chance that you're ever going to get caught. When they book you in, they'll give you some phone calls so you can call them. Yeah. All right? Yes, because I, I don't. Yeah. Why? I thought she was going to let my cousin pick me up. Why did this happen? I'm, I'm so sorry. People, deputy, so many people rely upon me. You do not know. You can look. You can get in and get out. All right? I can get in and get out? Yeah, like, they'll book you in. If you have somebody that can bond you out, you have a preset bond, so you can bond out of jail. You don't have to wait to see a judge. Well, how much is that? Uh, I'm not quite sure. They'll give it to you when we get there, okay? We'll work with you, all right? We'll try to get you out as quick as possible. Man, this is, my uncle is sick. All right, well, the quicker we get to jail, the quicker you can get out, okay? Doors are all locked, all the windows are up. All right, cool. What is it? I've never been to jail in my life. Okay, all right. It'll be fine, I promise. Then all right, we're here. All right, we got to get you to the jail. That's crazy in the sense that I did not know that some states were like that, with you have an uns a suspended license that they, they take you in and book you. Because I've driven on a suspended license before, and I just got a ticket in New York, and then they just let you go, thankfully. Uh, but apparently in some states that works a little bit differently, and, and this man is probably going to wish he was not in Georgia. I'm 
I'm very curious how this plays out and how much they show us. Show me your route to the jail. We'll one mail to 95, beginning miles. I'm ready. Go ahead. That's why you don't be committing crazy crimes. This man may have changed his entire life around. He really is a good guy now, but he took somebody's life. He ruined a family, most likely, and he's now going to come back and get you. That's the way of the world. Wait, it doesn't show anything else? I appreciate you being cooperative. I just have to go by what the law states. Yo, I'm so upset. Why doesn't it show? Okay, I'm going to have to look this up. Let's look this up really quick. A man who'd been wanted in Atlanta for murder for nearly 28 years was finally caught this week during a routine traffic stop, according to the FBI. The agency said in a release that Muhammad was captured by the Oconee County Sheriff's Office near Athens in the course of a traffic stop. It is not clear how deputies tied Al Emin to the 1994 crime during the traffic stop, but he'd been wanted by an FBI. There was a reward out by the FBI for his arrest since the early 2000s. Okay, so they had his name out there maybe after allegedly shooting a man in the face with a handgun at the Oakland City Marta Station in Atlanta in November 1994. After evading capture for several years, a federal arrest warrant charging him with flight to avoid prosecution was issued in May 2001. So they actually had his name out there. It wasn't just that the fingerprints matched up. That's wild. Um, he murdered an 18 year old at the time. I don't know how old he was or how old he is right now, but they were walk. He was walking with Tucker before the shooting when he suddenly pulled out a gun and shot the 18 year old in the face. Guy died at the scene. That's crazy. All these years later, baby, that's what happens. You cannot be doing stuff like that, committing murders and crazy atrocities out there and think that it's not going to come back to you because there is no time limit on those charges. That that one day, one day. And again, this man may have changed his life around and have everything going good now. Being a positive individual, helping his family for all we, we don't know. I'm assuming that that might be the case based on what he was saying, but you, you could just be lying. Um, but because of a choice you made 28 years ago, you're going to end up losing the rest of your life probably. It's the way that the world works out sometimes. Comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about this. I'm upset we watched that whole video. I thought it was going to end up detailing more of what happened in the video, but that's why we tie this in at the end of it so we can actually get an update and see what, what, what went down. So I appreciate you guys. I'll catch you next video, homie.